Good afternoon, I'm Barbara, this is Kevin. And today we're going to demonstrate you to you the engine idle temperature management system. So if you have a touring bike that is 2014 and later, or a trike that's 2014 or later, your bike has this engine idle temperature management system on it. We want to teach you what it is and we want to teach you how to use it. Today we're using my favorite bike. And that would be this Road Glide Special in Billiard Blue and Stone Wash Pearl. It is really, really a beautiful bike. And we're going to show you the number one graphic on it. This bike comes in red and blue. And there are 900 of each of them that were made at the factory. It's a mid-year introduction. So they're very limited and it's a 20 and a half um, bike model. So the engine idle temperature management system. This is for customers who find themselves at a prolonged idle or in stop and go traffic. The EITMS, engine idle temperature management system, provides limited cooling of the rear cylinder. When certain conditions occur, and we'll go through that, EITMS turns off the rear cylinder fuel injector. The rear cylinder then becomes an air pump which cools the rear cylinder. Make note that when EITMS mode is active, the rider may notice a difference in the idle cadence as well as a difference in the sound. Additionally, there may be a unique exhaust color, odor, not color, odor. These are all considered to be normal conditions. EITMS does not operate within the first four minutes after you start the engine. It will turn off the rear cylinder fuel injector when all of the following preset parameters are met. So when you turn on the function, which Kevin's going to demonstrate, all you turn on is the ability for this bike to either do it or not do it. The bike will do it based upon the parameters that I'm about to describe. So those parameters must be met, which is that the throttle position is at idle, the motorcycle speed is under one mile an hour, the engine speed is under 1200 RPM, and one of the following parameters is also met. The engine temperature sensor input reading is above a preset level, the ambient air temperature sensor reading is above a preset level for radio equipped models only, and for twin cooled models, the coolant temperature sensor input reading is above a preset level. The EITMS will deactivate and the rear cylinder fuel injector will resume operation if any one of the following conditions occur. The engine temperature sensor reading drops below a preset level, so it gets cooler. The ambient air temperature sensor drops below preset levels for radio equipped models only. For twin cooled models, the coolant temperature sensor reading drops below a preset level. The throttle position is above idle. The motorcycle speed exceeds two miles an hour. The engine speed exceeds 1350 RPMs. And the clutch is released with the motorcycle in gear. Okay? When enabled, the EITMS will automatically activate when the above parameters are met. When disabled, it does not activate under any conditions. So you can turn this completely off on your bike, or you can turn the function on, then the computer will know when those parameters are met and it will set the EITMS in motion. So Kevin's gonna to demonstrate to us how to actually do this on your bike, how to set this function. So the first thing is that your engine can be running or shut off, so you do not have to have the engine on. We're gonna do it with the engine off, we're in the showroom. On vehicles equipped with radios, the EITMS activation and enabled disabled can be viewed on the information screen. The information button right here on the GTS radio. Yeah, we'll hit accept, we'll go to the information screen, and then there's a engine icon here, you touch that. And right here you can see it says EITMS is disabled currently. All right, so we're going to want to we want to enable it. So we're going to turn the ignition on, which we are on. And the run off switch to run. We are on run. We're going to roll off the throttle grip until it stops turning and hold it. Yep, now go forward. After 3 seconds, the cruise control indicator lamp will right flash. There 
indicating the EITMS status. Flashing green indicates that the EITMS is enabled. Flashing amber indicates that EITMS is disabled. To set the indicated status, release the throttle grip control. And if you want to change the status, you repeat the above steps. So we'll do it one more time. Three. Now it's green. Now it says that it's enabled. So that's your cruise control icon, which will flash when you get the status change and then release. That's it. And that's it. That's and enabled. It's, and it's enabled.